just in the past few years, is that uh, some of the Viking swords are actually made from a boots-like material, from a crucible material. The Vikings did not make this material themselves. They actually imported it from Central Asia because at that time they had a trading route that went down the Volga River through Russia into the area of Iran where they could easily get the material. So there's an entire series of swords that are labeled a Ulfberg sword. They actually it's written right on them. It's an inlay on the blade that are made from material that the Vikings imported from the Middle East. it was 
So that blade, when it flexes, will flex the same throughout. When you hit something, and you, know, you hit something that is resistant to the blow, those stresses of stopping so quickly are spread evenly throughout the blade. Whereas, in the case of a laminated blade, if you have a weak point in that blade, probably do, that's going to be your failure point.
you're hot enough to forge well, but not so hot that the material just crumbles. You can make your problems worse very quickly. There are, however, a number of uh, antique Persian blades where you can vis visibly see a forge well in the middle of the blade where they attach two ingots to each other, you know, or, or two bars of boots. different crystalline structure through proper history. 